What's up? What's up? What's up, people? It's Chris D for PC Addicts. Um, I've been using Chrome for a long time for a browser. Actually, I've used a lot of different browsers. Uh, Chrome has been probably my all-time favorite as far as speed and cleanliness, simplicity. Um, Firefox I used to like. I still do. But, um, you know, I, I did a video on Chrome and kind of why the reasons I like Chrome or whatever. But recently, I started using Firefox again for a couple of reasons, and to be honest, at this point, I can't remember why, but whatever. So, um, here you can see, uh, actually, that one should be moved down. Consider Firefox my number one for now, and then Chrome my number two, and Internet Explorer just in case something doesn't work in there. A lot of places don't code their stuff uh, to work cross-platform. So you have to use Internet Explorer or whatever. So, all right. So the... I kind of want to show you how I configured Firefox. I guess everybody could get crazy with their add-ons, extensions, all that junk, but mine looks like that. Basically, um, I customized my favorite little speed dial thing about bobbers here. So, you know, of course, PCAddicts.com is number one because I'm always there. Uh, a lot of people are always there. And then we got PCA Trim, which is our URL trimming service. And, of course, my YouTube. And so on, you know. Got my Gmail, Google Calendar, and Voice, and getting in the sites that I normally check daily for, for certain things, and then a couple other ones in weather. Just ties to weather.com, hour by hour, uh, already for my zip code. So instead of having to go to weather.com, type in the zip code, click on hour by hour, and then click on details, I just click the button, and it works. And you could have these set up. This actually is an extension in Firefox called Speed Dial. If you go here to uh, add-ons, it's this one right here, Speed Dial. And it's pretty configurable. You can set each one uh, for custom settings. I have mine set to uh, pull an image up for this. Otherwise, it would just pull the site up, and then, or if you, can, if you wanted to, you can crop it. Um, and crop that out, but I don't want to do that. I just want to keep images in there so that way I can put them on other computers and whatnot. So, layout and of course the cropping. So, I use that, and then we have up here it's called groups. Um, my main one is my main one, <laughs> it's like the one I always use. The next one is on this computer, it's called st.local. These are some of my like this is my uh, content filter slash firewall that's down in the basement to the next distribution called IPCOP and it works really well and then we got tomato which is my custom firmware link system wrt54 gs that uh... right now is not used as a router anymore it's basically just used as an access point for wireless here in the house got my cisco switch that i got down in the basement uh... i just took a screenshot of, of part of the picture here you know you can click on this and um, i'll just remember it this time go in here and you can kind of see get into the web user interface for to manage the switch and then so let's go back into this uh, we'll go back into local and then of course my printer that's the copier I have down down here it's got a web user interface as well okay we can close that then we got my OCSD local, local which I don't have it configured here at home yet but I do have Windows Live Sync set up and all I gotta do let's go ahead and well I gotta remote into my other computer from from work export the settings for this and then I can import them here and it's all synced up through Windows Live Sync which is kinda cool um, that way then I'll get all these custom things that I did this morning when I first got into work for for work now um, I got a bunch of other ones in there this one I like it removes the I like a simple in fact I don't even I don't even like the bookmark tab up there I like a simple interface, kind of like Chrome. If you open up Chrome, you know you've all seen it. It's just tabs. It's very clean, very easy, very good for like netbooks, something with a small screen. Now this one, uh, I moved all the controls and everything up here. I took out the Google search thing because I set up a Google search thing where I just type G for Google and it's going to search Google. So I can type in here, go uh, PC Addicts, and it searches Google for PC Addicts or if I want to if I want to search for Google Images, I go GI for Google Images. I just set that up. You have to configure that in space, and then I'll just do PC Addicts, and we'll see. Uh, there's some pictures. <laughs> okay. Or if you want to search YouTube, I set up a YT uh, Smart Search or Keyword Search, and then PC Addicts. And there's some of us. But anyways, um, 
So that's that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other ones. This one's called Tiny Menu, I think it is. Add-ons. You can see here, I'll show you real quick. I got Edbox Plus, Auto Copy, which is kind of cool. What you do is, um, down here in the bottom right, it, it just shows that it's running. You can toggle it on and off. If you just highlight some, some text and let it go, you can see it blinked. It just copied it. If you go here and Control V, you can see that's it, it copied it to your clipboard. It's kind of neat. A lot easier, a lot quicker, especially if you're using something like a netbook. Um, download helper, helper to download some videos from like YouTube or whatever. Evernote Web Clipper. I do use Evernote, and I really like that program. Prism for Fire, Firefox. I'm gonna probably take that off because I don't need it, but I'll do that later. Remember the milk for Gmail? I have that running. Uh, screen grab, which is kind of cool. If you got a uh, something here, you want to screen clip this. Let's do the selection. We can sc screen clip that part right there, and then you can save it wherever you want. We can save it to the desktop, save, and there it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Now, how do you close it? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now, um, siphon, which is cool because what it does is it it, it, it saves all your favorite extensions. Um, it syncs it between other computers. So if when I go and I work at the one at work, if I install the Siphon add-on, it will see that on this computer here, I'm running all these uh, extensions. And it'll say, hey, do you want to install these extensions? And you just say, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Speed dial, you've seen that. That's this one when you open a new tab. It opens up some favorite things here. You know, I got some other ones there. Um, it's pretty configurable. Tab Mix Plus is a must have. A lot of configuration you can do there. Tiny Menu is this one where it shrinks all your file edit, all, that, all these down into one so you get a little cleaner look. Because you're not always in these. You know, the only time you're really in these, you don't need to go to help all the time. You know, you can just go to tools or you don't need to go to bulk marks. You got Control B, we'll do that. Um, that's basically what I'm using Firefox for now. It does slow it down a tad, loading all these pictures and stuff up, but just a little bit. But it's not enough to deter me yet. I'm sure at some point I'm going to go, I'm sick of this. I just want to get a plain browser again. I don't know. But for now, it's really nice and handy. Uh, you know, I just open up one of these. I go, okay, boom, PC Addicts. It's already logged me in. Okay, back here, PCA Trim. Uh, customize things like Gmail. I can just click that. It already logs me in. Okay. Um, uh, certain ones, like especially this one where it's already set up to put it. It already puts in my zip code and hourly graph and it's in detail tab form here so pretty neat um, it's kinda what I use it for and then uh, also down here what else we got yeah so that's about it and don't forget join us in the chat you can see here we got uh, right now 27 people it's a little quiet in there but we got people in here talking Corey saying Chris D and go yo 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 Corey what's going on to the break of dawn then Nate's script automatically says hey what's crack a lack and people come in they don't know it's a script and they're like hey what's up Nate what are you up to and then he doesn't talk because you know it's a script yeah I had lots of coffee this morning but it's already late at night I'm ready for bed so um, please join us in the chat come hang out you can see people are talking uh, all kinds of junker runker up here you can check it out like a scout on a new route alright alright I'm done have a good night, guys. Bye.